was legit. Just a huge old possum. Just ran right across the road. When I was in like third grade, we went to the science center and they showed us a possum and it was really weird because I was like, is this really like a rare animal? I see them all the time, but I guess, like I haven't seen one in a while, so maybe that's the one from the science center. It is February 20th, 2016. This is vlog number 11. It is 8 a.m. on a Saturday, not a usual time that I'm awake, but it's road rules day. And so I've gotta head over to church. So the vans leave at nine. They are going to be gone all day until 9 p.m. Um, and uh, me and Elisa are in the command center. Um, so that means that we're going to be in charge of making sure that nobody like gets like super lost. We'll be tracking everybody, making sure that the game's going smoothly, uh, making sure that there's no cheating, um, all that, that kind of stuff. Um, that's gonna be our job for the day. I really wish I was racing, uh, but the command center will be fun. So yeah, that's kind of what my day looks like, and if you can tell, that's kind of a lame day for vlogging. Um, so I'm sorry if today's vlog is very short, very uninteresting. I'm gonna try to make it as interesting as possible. I do want to point out that I'm supposed to be at church at 8.15, and it is 8.04. I'm gonna be early, and that's a first. I'm the first high school ministry person here. I think this is the first time in history I've ever been the first one. Since I'm the first one here, I'm gonna grab the keys and then scatter the vans all across the parking lot. So we give them the keys to their van, they have no idea where it is. Fun twist to the game. Good morning. Yay, Red Rose! Wow, that was a lot of excitement. All right, we're getting ready for road rules. Um, everybody's getting here. They leave in about uh, five minutes. The first team gets to leave, so we're set up. We got all the teams. There is everyone. Just waiting for everybody to get here. in the ocean but this one you will find residing in the twin city if you miss it then you're blind we're going to Winston let's go all right all our teams have left now we're headed upstairs to get some things together but road rules is officially started all right so we're tracking everybody on find friends so that's five teams versus 16 all right, so uh, we figured out that we can bring the phone anywhere. That's how cell phones work. Um, but we are going now to Michael's son Colt's indoor soccer game. So be ready for a vlog. Hey Michael, is that what the MVP gets? Yeah. Excellent. Hey PJ's camera! Hey! This little conversation over here is very funny. It's like they're little adults. <laughs> One of the coaches just ran out yeah. onto the field and like started doing like signals and stuff. This is just crazy. So this guy is a coach. I don't know what team he's coaching for, but he's really intense. This guy is the other coach and he looks like that he just got picked up from the side of the road and they needed a guy to coach. They keep just pointing at the ball and I think that the kids know what the soccer ball looks like. I'm just I'm so confused. That's Colt right there. 
they're doing some some crazy. This team's not even warming up. This entire fan section is just here for Colts. It's a pretty intense fan fan section. Go! Is that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> That's the only thing I know about soccer. <laughs> I understand like absolutely nothing about soccer. <laughs> Yet all I want to do is, this is, is argue with the ref. <laughs> so they're trying to tell me that if they take a shot inside of this giant box in front of the goal, that doesn't count. I think that's crap. That, I'm sorry, that box is humongous. It's to become a Carolina Duke-like rivalry between me and whatever team is playing. This is Emmy. That's pretty much a normal day right there. I've had to stop paying attention to the game because I just got too into it. I don't think that's going to turn out very well for Colts team. Um, they're down like 9-2 to two right now, so I'm very sad. I don't want to beat up a ref. When I made that last comment, a man with two barbell earrings in one of his ears gave me a look like I just like did something terribly wrong. And man, he is just a... I think I got a shot of him. Maybe that'll go here. Yeah. All right, so we have left the game. Now we're headed to lunch at our favorite restaurant, Foothills. Fried pickles. They have really good fried pickles. I literally killed this. It looks like I just murdered it. It was delicious. So good! This is the best bumper sticker I've seen in a long time. <laughs> That's just amazing. All right, we're back at church. We just got to uh, get some things finished up. And uh, then everybody's gonna be coming back here, going to pick up drinks. Tallying up the results, everyone's back. The first team finished last night at 8 o'clock. <laughs> negative time. Coming in with a total time of negative 787 minutes, it's Team Power! Yeah! Alright, road rules is over. Tomorrow morning I gotta be up super early. I've still gotta edit the whole vlog, get home. So the vlog is over. It's just a song by My Chemical Romance. It got stuck in my head, and I needed to get it out. What's special about it? It was the first song that I ever broke a drum drumstick to. A what? Also, the first one that I ever broke a drum head to. How's it go? I broke the drum head and the drumstick at the same time. Sounds epic. It goes like this. When I was high. 